What's up guys, Techno Geek Kid here, and I'm here to talk to you about what to expect with the Nexus 5. This is going to be Google's latest flagship device. Their current one, or last year's one, which came out in the last November, was the Nexus 4. And the Nexus 4 is still a quality phone. It's, it's still out, but they're kind of hard to find because Google sold out and, you know, but it's $200 it was if Google had more in stock. But yeah, and it's still a quality phone. It's still up competing with the top phones like the Galaxy S4 and Note 2, Note 3, and LG G2, and other phones like that, iPhone. But the Nexus 5 is supposed to be far better than the Nexus 4, and it's going to be what I think is going to be a great phone. We've seen leaks almost every day for the past month or so, honestly. And a few days ago we saw a 7 minute video of the hardware and the software, and it's supposed to, supposedly rocking a 2.3 gigahertz Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 processor with stock Android. And I hear that and I'm just like, wow, that is one heck of a processor. And it's running stock Android 4.4 KitKat, which is their Google's latest version. And that's a fast phone. If you think about it, stock Android is much faster than like any other layouts, I guess you'd say, like uh, TouchWiz, which is Samsung's, and HTC Sense. Stock Android is fast, so I'm really excited. And also, the phone is supposed to be 4.95 inches, or 5 inches if you want to round up, hence the Nexus 5, and it's supposed to be a 1080p display. Some cool things that are supposed to come in with the Nexus 5 is NFC, wireless charging, which is pretty awesome. No wires, I, I hate wires. And lastly, LTE. LTE was a big deal with the Nexus 4. It didn't have it. People were upset, and I was upset. I mean, I would have... The Nexus 4 could have been a even better phone if it was rocking LTE. That's all right. Uh, speaking of that, another rumor is that the Nexus 4, Google is going to release a new Nexus 4 with LTE for $300, and then they're going to boost up the price of the Nexus 5 to $400, which it used to be rumored that the Nexus 5 was going to be $300, but if Google comes out with a Nexus 4 with LTE, that'll most likely be $300. The Nexus 5 will be $400 for a 16 gigabyte version with a 2300 milliamp hour battery, but Google is supposedly also releasing a 32 gigabyte version with a 3000 milliamp hour battery, which is a big improvement from 2300. Battery life is a big deal nowadays, and if your phone can't get you through the whole day, without having to charge it, that's not good. You want to be at work or at school, and you want to be able to have your phone and look at it and not see low battery until you're at your house able to charge it. Because it's it's rough when your phone dies, because we use our phones so much nowadays, you don't even realize it. For social media, texting, updates, emails, and alarms, calculator, all these apps and widgets, we use our phones for almost everything, and it's just crazy to think that. Anyways, back to the Nexus 5. The camera is supposed to be supporting a 2 megapixel front facing camera and an 8 megapixel back facing camera, which is alright. I mean, you see cameras like the Note 3 rocking a 13 megapixel camera with 4K video, but we're probably not going to be seeing that on the Nexus 5, but that's alright. I mean, I'm not too big on like phone cameras. I think no matter what, they're all pretty fantastic recently. I haven't seen a new phone that takes really bad pictures. Some of them are a little too saturated, a little not saturated enough. But it's not that big of a deal. If you're really into cameras, you can get the Lumia 1020 or just get an actual small camera to carry around. But yeah, so that's the Nexus 5, and uh, it was on the screen. But also, uh, just quick stats, it's got... Or, Specs. 2 gigs of RAM, which is a decent amount of RAM, and hopefully that'll speed up the phone a little bit. And I'm just overall really excited for this phone. It seems like it's going to be a big deal, and the Nexus 4 was a big deal, but still not many people know about it, or knew about it. But I feel like once the Nexus 5 is released, a lot of people are going to get it, especially because if it has the $300 price tag, with no upgrade or no contract or whatever, that's just ridiculous. That's... A total steal. Like, think about phones, the Note 3, Galaxy Note 3, $300 with a two-year contract. That's, it's too much. It's, people don't have that kind of money, but 
And if you don't have an upgrade, what are you going to do? Spend the $800 on the phone without an upgrade? I'm just really, really hoping that the Nexus 5 will be $300, and I will definitely be picking that up. Probably even the $400 version, if it's got the 300 or 3,000 milliamp hour battery and uh, 32 gigs, because more memory is better. Speaking of memory, this Nexus 5 is not going to be supporting a micro SD card, which many phones nowadays do, and it won't have a removable battery, which is up to you on how how you take that. I'm a big fan of removable storage. I love micro SD cards. You can just put your music on it, put your photos on it, and then put it into your computer or another phone or something like that. And it's an easy way to transfer data. But not having it on the Nexus 5 isn't that big of a deal. Google has a nice uh, cloud support, so we'll see. Anyways, the release date for the Nexus 5 is supposedly the end of the month, end of October, October 31st or around November 1st. That's the announcement that we'll see it, and hopefully about two weeks after that, maybe the phone will be, you'll be able to buy it and on the Play Store, or maybe even in stores like Verizon and AT&T and stuff like that. But yeah, so that concludes this video on the Nexus 5. Remember to like, comment, rate, subscribe, whatever. Please, it helps me out a lot, and I'll be making more videos if I get more viewers, so yeah, just uh, do that, share this, I'll see you next time.